Weird Sea Creatures by Laura Marsh. Strange but true, many strange sea creatures live in the ocean. Some are beautiful, some are ugly, some are cute, and some are scary. Weird sea creatures are strange for a reason. The funny way they look and the strange things they do help them live in the ocean. This is a balloon fish. Survivor skills. Snorkeling in shallow water. Some sea animals live in shallow ocean waters and some live in deep ocean. The ocean can be a hard place to live. Deep areas are cold and dark and it can be hard to find food. And the ocean can be dangerous. There are many predators. Any animal can quickly become dinner for another animal. This is the diagonal butterfly fish. Water word is predator, an animal that hunts and eats other animals. Sea creatures have special skills that can help them find food. They also have strange body parts that can help them hide and stay safe from other animals. This is the Dumbo octopus, and that's its eye. How weird are these sea creatures? Let's find out. A Dumbo octopus finds food on the ocean floor with its large eye. A leafy sea dragon blends in with the seaweed around it. And a moray eel's sharp teeth catch prey. Hide and seek. Camouflage helps animals hide from their enemies. Looking strange helps them blend into the plants or water around them. Camouflage also helps animals catch dinner. Do you see the stonefish in the picture? Most fish don't because it looks like rock or coral. And when they swim too close, the stonefish springs from the ocean floor and it grabs dinner in a flash. Camouflage is an animal's natural color or form that blends in with what's around it. Big eyes. The deep ocean gets very little light and many animals that live there have large eyes. Big eyes help creatures see in the darkness and find prey. This viper fish uses its big eyes to spot a hatchet fish. Dinner time! The hatchet fish uses its own large eyes to find tiny shrimp to eat in the dark sea. Prey is an animal that is eaten by another animal. Making light. Many creatures in the deep dark sea have a special trick. They make their own light. This is called bioluminescence. Bioluminescence is light that an animal makes by itself. That is the picture of a comb jelly. Some sea creatures use their own light as a flashlight to find prey. Light can draw prey toward an animal too. A light can surprise enemies. So an animal might make a quick escape. The black dragonfish has funny patches that glow in many places on its body. Expert food finders. Some animals have wacky body parts that help them catch meals. This gupper eel has a super long tail. Prey comes closer for a better look. This eel's giant mouth opens wide. It can eat an animal bigger than it is, and it can't be picky. In the deep sea, the eel must say whatever, eat whatever it can find. The tiny cookie cutter shark locks onto its prey with strange sucking lips. Its sharp teeth sink in and they leave a bite in the shape of a circle. Look at the cookie cutter sharks feeding on a dolphin in this illustration. There's the sharp teeth. An angler fish has its own fishing pole called a lure. The lure glows and other fish want to know what it is. When they get close, the angler fish eats them. Deadly dangers. Bumping into some sea creatures can be bad news. The yellow sea anemone looks like a pretty flower, but it has stinging parts that have deadly venom. When a fish is stung, its muscles stop working. Then the anemone eats the fish. Venom is a liquid that makes some animals cause pain, sting, or death. And this is a yellow sea anemone. The box jelly is one of the most dangerous animals in the world, the box jellyfish. It has arms called tentacles that grow up to 10 feet long. 
The tentacles deliver a painful, deadly sting. The lionfish has crazy spiky fins, but you wouldn't want to touch them. The fins on its back are sharp and can sting you. Fins filled with venom. Strange senses. Some animals near the ocean floor don't even have eyes. They can't see their food, so they use other senses to find it. A sea cucumber can feel tiny pieces of food stuck to its tube feet. It curls its feet in and licks them clean. This is a sea cucumber. The hagfish has a super strong sense of smell and touch. It can smell food that has fallen from higher up in the ocean, and it uses feelers to find meals. Super subs. How do we know about weird sea creatures in the deep ocean? People can't dive deep to see these sea creatures. It's too cold and dark there, and the water pressure is strong enough to crush a person. But humans can use machines called submersibles to explore the deep ocean. Sometimes people control them from far, far away, like a remote-controlled car, and sometimes people ride inside them. How deep? A submersible called Alvin can dive 4,764 feet deep. That's as long as all these buildings. It would take more than three Empire State Buildings stacked up to reach that depth. Submersible is an underwater craft used to explore and gather information. Submersibles collect information. They have lights and special tools. They take pictures and they gather plants, rocks, and animals. Scientists use submersibles to find the weird creatures shown here. And there are probably thousands more that have not been found yet. This is a blobfish. These odd tube worms live in the bottom of the ocean and they can grow up to eight feet tall. The end.